Guys, Jason the Lazy Heretic here with another Advent devotional, day 20. We're only five days away, well that's 10, five days away from uh, Christmas, which is so, so cool. And uh, today we're talking about joy again. And uh, I want to go back to these verses that I read out yesterday, just talking about it and the announcement that the angel gave, the angel gave to the shepherd. I mean, the angels turned up and they started singing their song, um, about glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill towards those in whom he is pleased. And so uh, that was that was really cool. But the message before that, that the angel of the Lord gave, um, an angel of the Lord gave to the shepherds as they were sitting in the fields and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And what does he say? He says, and I quote, he says, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You'll find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And so I wanted to focus on that message and just ask the question, what is it that makes that whole thing good news of great joy for the shepherds? What is it? Unto you. It's the second half of that, right? So you go, I bring you good news of great joy. That'll be for the whole world, be for everyone for all the people. And you go, okay, this is exciting. What's it going to be? Well, the next part of the sentence tells us it is going to be, unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And so that is the good news of great joy that the angel has brought to the shepherds. The fact that Jesus is born, that's great joy for them. Now, why is that great joy? Well, we considered again, in our very first uh, series of devotionals on hope, why this was such a great thing that was happening. Because it had been the culmination of all these promises throughout the biblical story, throughout the biblical record of the promise of God to send someone to save and re uh, redeem what had gone wrong at the beginning. And we know the story from the beginning of the serpent uh, deceiving Eve and Adam and causing that uh, that destruction of that intimate relationship with God. And so we kind of get this picture and that promise at the start in Genesis 3. And, and this is the culmination of that promise. This is the fulfillment of that. Finally, the Savior has been born, the one who is the rescuer, right? The rescuer, the kid's Bible, the, uh, the Jesus Storybook Bible uses that term. The rescuer has arrived and he has come to set people free, to set the world to rights is another phrase that you could use if you wanted to talk about that, that he is going to make sure that everything is put back the way that it should be. And he's the savior, the rescuer. And what is he? He's Christ. Now, if you know any Greek or Hebrew, you know that Christ is the Greek equivalent of Messiah. It means anointed one. It means the one who has been we've all been waiting for, the one who is sent from God, anointed with the Spirit, sent to do the work that God has set apart for him. He's Christ and he is Kyrios, he is Lord. And this should be great joy because now it's Jesus who is going to be Lord over us. It's not going to be Caesar, it's not going to be any governments, any authorities. Ultimate authority belongs to God. And for us, that's good news of great joy. And that changes, and we'll discuss this a little bit tomorrow, that changes how we view the Oh, excuse me, <laughs> almost choked there. That changes how we view the world and how we view our place in the world. And it can be a place of great joy. And I think joy is one of the things that really uh, proclaims to us and to others around us the gospel of Jesus Christ, that encounter with him that transforms our sorrow into joy. No matter what, we have that deep abiding joy that surpasses all of our circumstances. So that's the devotional for today, guys. We'll bring it to a close. Feel free to share this video around, like it, uh, subscribe to the channel, go and check the blog, lazyheretic.blog. And uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow with another Advent devotional. Take care. God bless.